Good evening folks, Mr. Salty here. Uh, I'm sure you've seen on the web lots of talk about uh, hexavalent chromium being in our, our electrolyte water after it's been run across the plates. So it got me uh, curious enough to buy a hexavalent chromium test kit uh, provided by Hawk Company. Uh, it's about 20 bucks plus shipping. So I, I want you to see my uh, results. Um, I think you've seen in some of my past videos how I've saved the electrolyte uh, into a bucket. So we're going to scoop up a sample out of there and uh, run it on this little cube that comes with it. Got a color comparator right attached to it. The directions are right here in front of you. Got my little powder pillow for it and it's a five minute test. So let's get busy. Here's my bucket of uh, electrolyte that I've been saving. Don't dump it in the yard or anything because I've heard the hexavalent chromium talk. So wasn't really exactly sure of it. So I didn't want to contaminate my yard. So um, let's see what happens here. Okay, got my sample. It's a five minute test, five minute reaction period. So I'm going to uh, put the powder pillar in it here it says to shake it up gently shake it up there you go the contents right there this isn't looking good look at the purple color already forming at the top so it's 9.32 and 45 seconds look at that color turning already If you thought it was a myth that you're generating hexavalent chromium, take a look at the uh, what's called the color comparator cube right there. So that's what we have so far. Okay, we're back. As you can see on the clock there, five minutes is just about up. You can look at this. And the bottom, the very bottom is uh, 0 0.2 milligrams per liter. And the very top, uh, darkest purple part of the cube there is one milligram per liter. I know the color's not exactly the same. Um, it looks, in live person, very similar to what you see on film here, at least what I can see on my camera. But the closest one that compares to it is the 0.4 to 0.6 milligram per liter part of the cube. So let's call it 0.5 milligrams per liter. So here you have half a part per million of hexavalent chromium in this little bucket of wastewater. Now I've been saving this, actually been using this for the past year. And I actually still use the uh, water out of here for some of my uh, runs in my cell. Just because just in case it was, uh, did contain hexavalent chromium, I'm not creating more and more of it. I, mean, I might be creating a more concentrated waste, but at least I'm not uh, generating more and more waste. So uh, take these conditions seriously and save your wastewater to uh, dispose of it properly and you might check back with uh, Zero Fossil Fuels site he might have some info on I just wanted you to be aware that there is hexavalent chromium in the electrolyte water when you use stainless steel plates uh, if you have any questions just shoot me a comment or an email uh, thanks for watching over and out for now